Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Indran Gupta Chaudhary and today I will be telling you about how to enable JDBC SpyLog for model repository service. The agenda for the video is to enable the JDBC SpyLog for model repository service for extracting the SQL from MRS. Why exactly we need the JDBC spy login and the demo of the procedure involved. So first is why to enable JDBC spy log. The JDBC spy logging is very helpful when we need to know the time the query was triggered and the response time that we got from the database. We can trace the JDBC calls between the model repository service and the model repository database. The JDBC spy logs gives all the details including the SQL and the parameter data with the exception of the stream data. All JDBC calls will be included in the trace file. Now let me show you how to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is create a directory. So I am in the temp folder and I will create a directory called as pi. So it has created. Now this is a very important step uh, as data direct does not create a directory if it does not exist. So please do not skip this step. So now we need to log into the MRS in, in the admin console and since model repository the connection is JDBC the way it connects to the model repository database uh, we just need to make changes in the repository database properties so I will go to edit in the JDBC connect string we just need to append the following line this is like just appending the spy attributes. If you see here, just the spy attributes, the log file name where the JDBC spy log will get created. The line limit, you can have this to 1000. Uh, you can set it up as you need. So that will be the line limit basically. So I have set it up to 1000 here. So timestamp equal to yes and this will create the spy log I did an OK now in order to have this incorporated we need to have a MRS restart so please remember this in order to take this changes into effect MRS needs to be restarted so I will do now let me check in the backend if the log file has got generated after the restart. Yes, I can see the log file. Now let us check what is there inside. So you can see that the JDBC calls including the timestamp is mentioned here. So we can find out how much time does a response take from the model repository service to the model repository database. So all the JDBC calls can be seen here. So this file can be very much useful in case of any issues faced uh, when while connecting from the model repository database. So with that I come to the end of the video. The references can be found in KB120422. We would love to hear from you. You can write us to in support videos at informatica.com or tweet us using the Twitter handler InfoSupport. Thank you.